there's a little phrase I often use in spiritual direction with people. When we become aware of something and then we judge our past with our present awareness, which we didn't have before, that's not helpful. It's not good to shine the spotlight of your present awareness on your past. Okay. Okay, because it, it just makes us probably feel more guilty or, or that we're not reaching the mark, et cetera, et cetera. What is important is to give thanks to God for the new awareness so we can move forward with this. Okay. The reason why I, I, I had to say that about the prayer, but understanding that Jesus is praying for us because the Eucharist is the great prayer of Christ on our behalf to the Father. And you and I know that sometimes when we're present at the Eucharist, you know, it may be the last, there may be a lot of stuff going on in our minds and we may not be that present in that regards. Does that mean that the Eucharist is invalid? <laughs> it doesn't. And it's the same like when we don't feel anything in prayer or when we're present at the Eucharist, God is the main agent and God is doing this, making this prayer a reality in our lives in that regards. So I suppose the image that I want to use, again, I'm taking it from St. Francis to see us and he takes it from the Song of Songs. He says, we won't understand the Eucharist unless we understand the kiss of God. He says, because God, when he creates us, when he creates humanity, this is the kiss of God giving us life. When God becomes one of us, when he becomes human, when the word becomes flesh, Mary receives the kiss of God so that God becomes human in our lives. When we go to the Eucharist, when we receive him in Holy Communion, we receive the kiss of God because he enters into communion with us and we become one. So Francis de Sales tells us that what happens at the Eucharist is what happens at the Incarnation. Just as Mary was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit and was open to receiving the word of God, who became flesh within her, also in every Eucharist, when the priest calls on the Holy Spirit, the epiclesis in the Eucharistic prayer, when he calls down the Holy Spirit, what happened at the Annunciation happens in the Eucharist because through the power of the Holy Spirit, the bread is transformed into the person, the body of Christ, whom we receive then in communion, who enters into communion with us. So just as Mary received the word of God, in the Annunciation, at each Eucharist, Christ enters into us, so we become one body. And as Scott Hahn says in the Last Supper, in his book in the Last Supper, at every Eucharist there is a wedding, and that wedding, you're invited to the wedding, but you don't realize you are the one that is being married. You are the one that is receiving the body of Christ. And there's an intimate communion there that is more intimate than marriage. And you'll be made one with Christ who enters into you and becomes one with you. And as we read in De Ecclesia Eucharistia of, of Pope St. John Paul II, in Holy Communion, we not only receive Christ, but he receives us. So I just want to take a quotation from St. Francis de Sales. Okay, from my book, okay, which is um, Created for Love. And it's meditation on the Eucharist. I mean, I won't have time to go through all of this, but if, if anyone's interested in really looking at this more in more depth, okay, there's this phrase, this quotation I want to read from him. He says, we also receive a similar grace in communion as Mary did at the Annunciation. Because not an angel, but Jesus Christ himself assures us that in it, the Holy Spirit descends on us. Heavenly power covers us with its shadow and the Son of God really comes to us. He can say that he is conceived and born in us. Truly then, the soul can respond with Mary I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. 
If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.